Angle PLC is a medical technical company, specialist medical technical company, which has effectively been transforming itself uh, in recent years. It has a long-term plan. Basically, it's introducing very precise precision medicine uh, into a very simple blood test. In effect, it means you have a non-invasive biopsy um, with certain kinds of cancers and you can find out exactly what is happening without having to do major surgery. Well, it's a, a story we've been talking about for some considerable time. Figures are out uh, today uh, showing that the losses are widening, 3.9 million, uh, but the cash pile is still growing, 8.4 million at the moment. But of course, this is pre-revenue. Let's get the latest on how things are going from the CEO of Angle, which is Andrew Newland. Andrew, um, I mean, these, on the face of it, looks to me suggests that the pace of your growth and that your your attack into this market is growing. Uh, good morning, um, Nigel. Absolutely, we we have had a fantastic year. We've hit all our milestones. Uh, extremely effectively and uh, you're quite right the pace is growing because um, we've refocused our business so you use the word transformation and that's uh, exactly what it's been um, we've completed our transformation into the med tech sector and uh, all guns are blazing uh, on the parasautic system so uh, very successful year mm. and, and, and in, in simple terms what the parasautics um, cell separation technology does it's a very simple cassette you put the blood into it and it, it screens all the bits you need um, and this is in, in theory it's applicable across a whole range of cancers but you are in particular focusing on on a couple of areas at the moment what what are they and why yeah you're, you're right it's a very simple uh, process which um, we use which is to capture and then harvest cancer cells from from the patient blood um, utilizing uh, our patented uh, step separation system. So we have a, um, a monopolistic position of intellectual property relating to this, and it can be used with all different types of cancer. But you're right, we're very focused in our approach, and uh, our first clinical application is targeting ovarian cancer. Uh, the reason that we're targeting ovarian cancer is because um, there's a clear unmet uh, medical need uh, because there are large numbers of women who have abnormal pelvic mass growths which need to be cut out and a proportion of those women have ovarian cancer which is a very deadly disease uh, but the surgeons don't know ahead of time which patients uh, they're, they're operating on have got this cancer and which don't and that's uh, highly problematic because it means that the, uh, the, the women with ovarian cancer don't get uh, the right treatment and um, we, we've, the, 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 this has been selected as a target for us uh, because the Medical University of Vienna, one of our key opinion leaders, uh, had absolutely uh, sensational results with our system in being able to detect ovarian cancer from uh, patients when they were using the parasautic system. Mm. So uh, at this stage, what you're essentially doing is, is it's, it's more than proof of concept. You're actually proving that it works on, on a small scale in, in research. Uh, and it's not just the ovarian cancer, which is in many ways a relatively small part of the potential eight billion pounds um, market for all cancers um, but w what else are you focusing on and and what are the results coming through yeah i mean the work that uh, vienna did wasn't just evaluating the system we, we've actually had five major cancer centers reported this year uh, on their evaluation so uh, the ability of our system to capture and then harvest cancer cells is is now proven um, it's, it's actually the fact that they, they showed that it had a medical application uh, in those, that particular uh, set of patients, the ovarian cancer patients. There are multiple other um, areas where the key opinion leaders are doing uh, translational research, so uh, different, types of, different types of cancer. And one which has been announced recently uh, with very positive patient results is um, uh, Bart's Cancer Institute in, in prostate. Uh, where they've identified and uh, the successful capture of cancer cells from 100 percent of, uh, of 52 prostate cancer patients so that's that bodes very well for another potential clinical application in the future yeah. so what's the timeline when moving towards commercialization moving towards well, being we're right cash in positive. the thick of it now because there's two ways to commercialize this system uh, the step one is uh, as a research use activity so basically getting the big research establishments and the pharma drug trials to use the system and step two is clinical use in treating patients 
step one is happening as we speak, and uh, we anticipate uh, beginning research use sales this calendar year, so a bit later this year. Um, that's very much in progress. There are a number of customers um, who've got systems that they're evaluating uh, with a view to, to purchase, and there are various um, uh, pro um, research projects that we're, we're, our system is being specified for. So that's happening now. Um, and that market itself is worth £250 million uh, pounds per annum. We're targeting uh, a relatively modest 5% of that uh, to, to start with. Um, the, uh, the first clinical application, however, um, is the ovarian cancer one I mentioned. That's a market we estimate to be worth uh, £300 million pounds per annum. And we'll be targeting approximately one third of that market uh, eventually. That requires a, a, a pretty robust uh, clinical patient study, which is being um, in, uh, developed right now and uh, will be running uh, this year and then through next year. So by the end of 2016, uh, with good luck, we'll, we'll complete the European end of that and be able to start making clinical sales for a very cancer patient use. Right, so you've got a hefty cash pile, about 8.4 million. Um, what's that going to be used for? Well, we, we raised this money um, very specifically uh, in February and March this year uh, to do three things, uh, and they're the ones we just mentioned, actually. Uh, to, to bring the product into the market for research use sales, uh, to complete the clinical patient trial for ovarian cancer so that we can access that market, and thirdly, to enable us to support and progress the um, major cancer centres, these key opinion leaders, uh, around the world, of which we have nine at the moment, so they can develop other indications. So uh, that funding was raised specifically so we could increase our expenditure on, on those different matters to maximise the value of the business and to accelerate progress. Yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a great concept. It's, it's proving successful. You, you're looking to get it adopted globally. Uh, I suppose the key to that really is getting US FDA approval. Uh, I know we've talked about this before. Uh, any nearer? Well, FDA is um, a, a very important step because um, it, it is a requirement for making clinical sales uh, in, in the United States. Um, interestingly, our, um, our competition in this market uh, has uh, mainly taken the alternative route, which is called the CLIA Lab, uh, Certified Laboratory Approach, and that's because um, they believe it's too difficult for them to get FDA uh, because their uh, uh, products are very much more complex than our own one. Uh, in our own case, we've been engaged with the FDA for um, quite a bit over a year now. Um, we made submissions to them back in March last year, and we've had a very positive dialogue with them. Because um, we're seeking to be the first company ever authorised uh, to capture cancer cells from patient blood for analysis, they, they have um, raised all sorts of different questions uh, relating to um, how, how reproducible is the, is the system's operation, um, between different centres and between different operators, what happens with different types of patient blood, what happens if uh, patients are, are having different types of treatment or if, if the blood has got, uh, because of that, certain contaminated substances and so on and so forth. They're raising many detailed questions for, for our analysis and we, and we are progressively answering all those questions. We have a very clear experimental plan in place to address it. So, it's a very positive dialogue uh, with, um, with the FDA and uh, we are confident that um, we, we will get an authorization at some point in time. It's difficult to know exactly when because obviously uh, it depends on uh, uh, w what further questions are, are laid in front of us. All right. Andrew Newland, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much.